Friday Night Lights in DeKalb as the Barbs play host to the Wildcats of Nequa Valley. The Wildcats come into this one undefeated on the year and they're looking to stay that way. We pick things up in the first quarter where the Wildcats make a big special teams play. Christian Allen forces the Barbs to rush a punt that goes out at their own 30-yard line. Great field position for the Wildcats. And Nequa looks to capitalize. Quarterback Mark Menneke finds Carter Sessa who bulldozes his way into the end zone, but there's a flag on the play. Holding on the Wildcats, Nikua would go on to squander the opportunity by missing a field goal on the drive. Second quarter now and the Barbs on the move. Quarterback Trenton Kyler has his pass read perfectly by Nikua cornerback Nicholas Landino. Landino able to take this one all the way to the house with the help of his teammates, of course. Nikua strikes first, it's seven zip. To Kalb. Answering, Kyler heaves one deep and finds Toriano Tate who hauls in the catch with one hand. Huge play for the Barbs to get into scoring position. Couple of plays later and Kyler finds Tate again to finish off the drive. The Barbs tie things up at seven apiece. Moments before the half, Menike able to find Justin and Enman who gets the Wildcats within striking distance. And with just 15 seconds left, Menike goes right back to Nenman to get the Cats into the end zone just before the half. Nikwa leads 14-7 at the intermission. Third quarter now and the Wildcats pick things up right where they left off. Menike lobs one up, Sessa comes down with it, and this time it counts. What a catch by Carter Sessa. Nikwa Valley leads 21-14. DeKalb always seeming to have an answer on the night. Kyler able to link up with Tate again. That's his third touchdown of the game to tie things up at 21. After a Christian Allen pick six to put Nequa up by a score, DeKalb is looking to move again. Kyler finds Ethan Cano, who's able to dart downfield for the huge gain. The Barbs are in business, down seven, just three minutes to go. Moments later, the game on the line. Kyler heaves up a prayer and Nequa's Peyton Matthews. He picks it off to seal the deal for the Wildcats. 28-21, the thrilling final. Unity is definitely the biggest thing. Um, I've never been more proud of a, play, a group of players in my entire career. This is a team victory. This is a defensive victory. We all came together knowing we were tied, knowing we should be up 21-7. But you know, we came together. We had everyone on the everyone on the sideline talking. We had injured players talking too. So I couldn't be more proud. We kept picking each other up. I saw the ball coming in and watching film all week. I kind of had an idea what was coming with me. Um, I mean, saw the ball coming in the air, played the ball, and I was lucky to have all my boys running with me, help me block going down the sideline. I mean, as a sophomore, it was a hell of a thing to do. I was so excited. I mean, and we got this win as a team. It took all four quarters.